editing future Laura here. While editing, I realized that the game is getting a bit dark. So if you're like not in the best positive mood or feel like you can be triggered by something like this, I recommend you just click on something else. A happier video. We'll still be best friends, but yeah, I recommend you just watch something else. But it still gets very interesting. If you like, please keep on watching. But if you're not in the mood, no worries. I'm guessing it's cola. What else would you drink in a regular glass that's so dark? Uh, that doesn't... Oh. Hello. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Yeah, I can understand that. Lousy home makes home loners, or reclaiming his whole place. Ah, that'd be nice. Oh, sorry. Clear the table. Um, sure. Oh, done. Uh, you need me to do the dishes? Um, sure. Where's the bathroom? This way. This is a bathroom, not a bedroom. Oh yeah. Would be cool to live here, but I don't like all of the glass windows. It's uh, I think it's too creepy without curtains or anything. you do anything else? Hmm. I have an idea where this is going to, but I'm interesting interested to of the bedroom. Are you just making up? Stuff. What's this here before? Now tell me. This is off the. <laughs> After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Yeah, as soon as I saw the dishes again, I felt like, I felt like tears welding. Um, yeah, I, I, I know this. I know how, how, how he feels. I know it sounds cheesy. <laughs> house cleaning is so difficult, how do you do it? Oh, your house is this easy to clean. Do these chores ever end? No, they don't. Game. 
Of his work, stand. actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the oh. time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. What can I do now? Yes, please tell me. Are you going to tell me? Probably not. You're probably never going to tell me. Oh. Housekeeping. Yes, I will. I'm glad he made and this. I'm glad he found some peace. This is the part where I feel like I'm playing a game from the source engine because I'm getting nauseous. I know Source has been dealing a lot with that, and presumably it's been but getting better, course, but... it can't last. The music oh, stops, she's... your companion is gone, no. it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Yes. So he's not happy anymore? No, I'm... Sad and nauseous. <laughs> Another lamppost. Which is yep. the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really Why? thought that was the point of it. Yeah, you can not do your chores forever and then don't do anything else. Buy some sugar this one gets some. a bit goofy. Okay. No, I was to get a degree because only then I would be proud of myself, I thought. <laughs> get a better job. No. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is too real. Shut up. <laughs> no. I'm getting closer and closer. About halfway through the game, the perspective shifts. Ooh. What up? And you play so... as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Yeah. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Oh, I can. Oh, cool. Oh, and there's a listen. Oh, that's me. Okay, cool. This is the key. Now, how do I achieve it with no effort? On the way to work, I told another person to start contributing to society. Kids should not follow their dreams. That is bullshit. Um, I don't want to pick either of those. I just want to go talk to myself. <laughs> Oh, I can't get up. Why is everyone screaming? Why is... why? Okay, fine, I'll pick one. Let me tell you right now, this isn't effortless, then it's not the right answer. I still love you, it's just that you make me feel cold and Inside, being alone it must be awful. Oh, I like being alone. 
I go up to two. I don't know why. the thing what is the easiest simplest path forward you I'm developing a cyst gross um I've had cysts <laughs> if you have cysts get them checked out um <laughs> yes let's do ecstasy after <laughs> There is no truth, there is no path. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I don't. You've lost me again. Um, sure, I'll pick the yellow one. But if I'm not a good teacher, the way is easy to do what is the simplest for the worst. Sure, holy shit, you guys, something's coming out of the back of the room. Look out! Nothing, no one. It's coming for you, it's going to destroy. Everyone run, get the fuck out of here. I felt pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. I felt lost and it's relatable. Some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way. Yeah. And completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's okay. twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so no, I remember I found that a little strange at the time. No, can I go in here? Okay, so... Use more models. Can I... No, I cannot. Okay, sure. The beginner's guide. Here it is. Oof. Uh, I've had this dream or nightmare, rather. You'll be playing as me or a gathering of professionals. Do I? Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Say something to her? Like what? Hello! Sorry I have to leave, where's the bathroom? If you want to learn, you'll go and introduce yourself, so... Hello? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. No, it's not. Converse her, be a you Converse her, hmm. Super, super scared right now. I like you. Here are all my hopes and dreams. They're all weird. Um, but I'll go for one. Oh. Okay, sure. people. Okay. Talk to her again, but I can I can make you bounce. I can make you bounce. <laughs> you must have worked really hard to get where you are. I bet you learned to bet you learned to lean into pain what are some sacrifice you've had to make. One. Oh. Really? I mean, trying to talk about pain is more personal than, yo, dude, what the hell? 
Can I walk up past? Duh, it's massive. Can I, can I, can I, can I finish? No? Okay. Maybe I should not try to ration rationalize. Rationalize? Rationalize this game. I'll just go to my best friend, uh, the lamppost. Now what? I don't get it. Ooh! Yeah, the game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, hmm. where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from yeah, this game resonates to anyone other way than more with me personally and than honest, the I didn't prison one. Very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looks to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot Oops, of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. But what can you do? After this, Coda went off and took another five months to make a new five game. Five months? Okay. No, I don't want to keep my eyes closed. But sure. Nope. And <laughs> I like this help on the line to can see anything that's going on. <sighs> Three, what's going on? Hey, who's sitting there? Oh. You should probably open your eyes if you haven't told me. Yeah. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. Uh-huh. And there is a solution, by the way. There is? Oh, there's the three dots again, so does it mean that there is this puzzle door thingy again? Or is the... okay. Truth! The only way to stop... fuck. <laughs> okay, I was too slow. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The only way to stop is to speak something that is honest can keep making these is that honest <laughs> that's the thing that i would feel the most that i feel like the I most said, i was getting concerned playing this game first off he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking hmm. so where's that coming from but then even weirder his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. Two. No, you're not alone. You don't have to work harder, but you're stuck. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. <sighs> it's pretty. Kind of. Can I walk off? Oh, 
Hello. Circle? No, it's not. Okay. Something changed. I don't know. Me going out. I'm trying to let this engine use to protect me to start it again. It all it's a bit close too close to home really. I'm not sure if I <laughs> wanna play this game. Uh, um If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Hmm. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. Yeah. And yet still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Oh. Why? What is it for? I've been to Japan. I want to go back there. From my perspective at the time, and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. To open the door, yes, thank you. Oh, maybe from the inside now I can have to close the first door, yeah. the switch oh. but you, you know can't you like talk it here, yourself right? out of loneliness it doesn't work that way you can't be the one writing both the questions no, and the answers people, then there's no movement then there's yourself. no circulation if all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work then if the work ever fails you have no backup and you're just going to crash Does it? Yeah, I feel awful. Why would you say creation is easy? It's just when I make games, I feel completely energized. I am constantly excited and enthusiastic about my work. It's easy, it never stops being easy. I mean, is it just about talking? Then I understand it, but the thing that you're saying is not. If it's not correct or consistent to your own feelings, then I don't understand why you would say something like that. This. Um. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. Yes, <laughs> it is. He do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like. Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. Nope, they are not. 
I don't like this. No, this it doesn't feel really fantastic. <laughs> and I used to get so much joy out of seeing him. I'm going to vomit. For him Thank to suddenly source. become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. Keep going. I don't know. No. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. Is it over? Is it done? What's in the... The person? Yeah. But it didn't stop. Why not? After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. For all this time, I thought Coda was a guy. <laughs> and I don't know why. Would I. Did they even refer to the person as being a guy? I just. I don't know. Now I saw what I think was a girl, and I'm confused. Who are you guarding? The machine is waiting for you. Seems to be quick, quiet, or brutal. Nah, it can take a bit of time, but I want it to be quiet. Machine is Koda. Oh, hello. What the hell? Can you walk through it? No. Oh. Ah, the three dots again. <laughs> and of Stop. course, it's the machine. Was keeping us alive, your work was keeping us healthy, you stopped feeding us. Can you imagine what pain you Who? Who else than myself? It was only because she was pushing me. So we need to do this job. Yes! <laughs> I have seen the thing you fear. Now I feel like I need context. But I'm curious. What do you fear? Hmm. But to what people? Apologize to yourself on behalf of yourself. <laughs> Hello? My followers, my friends. My friends. Also need to deliver bad news. Troubling revelation. The machine will not apologize to us. The machine refuses to admit that it deliberately hurt us. But you don't know that. It's important we are stronger than it thinks we are. We will find a way to live without it if we do not meet its games. No. One. Let us pay its retribution. Let us show it that we are not failures. She 
No, we're not going to destroy it. Well, if the machine is something that you need in order to create, be healthy, be happy, be... I'm not going to destroy it, but maybe we should destroy its output? I don't know, whatever, what I'm saying. Oh, great. <laughs> what? No! I don't like guns. Okay, this is kind of fun. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that code is stuck in his own okay, head in his and that it's having a very negative effect head. on him so it's that a all guy, he has okay, to do but... is just start showing his work to people to get some actual feedback on his games it might get him out of isolation and so <laughs> as I'm thinking this I realize that I could be the one to initiate it Yeah. because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback so what if I did it for it Mm -hmm. If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? Dude. Oh. <laughs> cool. So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one and the islands which you just played, mm -hmm. the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the, the point of it all is just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. <laughs> there was nothing for him to be afraid of. No. So then the machine is fine. No, put it down. But I can only shoot, I cannot do anything else. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... I really felt like I'd done something good. Like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves. Did you and talk I could to fix it. Coda. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. Before actually giving it to other people. They told me how much they enjoyed his games. It. it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything ago. from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. Okay. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Hmm. So let's take a look. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. That's it's an interesting cold, approach to it. <laughs> the, meaning, the meaning of a tower is very distant to the world. All the sounds. Just to jump, here you can. This room actually has a maze in it. Hmm. 
Oh. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. Oh, and then that's every funny. time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. Yeah. The game goes crazy. beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like mm -hmm. the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores <laughs> and you just cleaned a house forever. Yeah, but there was had to cut it off a so very clear metaphor. The but... The game would actually end. but that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. Exactly. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Well, I mean, you can put some metaphors behind it. For someone's well-being, obviously, but the only hey. way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Oh, like the invisible maze, That's it, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. Yeah, it doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. Mm -hmm. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. <laughs> How do I just go here? Okay, sure. Five, one, two, three, four, six, and one, and seven. Okay, cool. The mechanics already are super different if you compare it, compare it to his previous games. Very dark. Do we need to jump? The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning <laughs> that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So, mm. even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges, and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. Oh. And it's scary for me, the idea of Coda cutting yeah. himself off entirely. Just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. But I can open this door for you, so let me do that. Thank you, but... Huh. Uh, close this. Was I a all these voices? for not understanding this game? Mm. I, mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution. But I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed. And I don't understand why. You feel like you failed the game or failed your friend? It's June of 2011, I'm playing this for the very first time, and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. Mm -hmm. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, mm -hmm. and then now suddenly none salute. of them... I had been trying to, though, that was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. Yeah. And he wouldn't. Three personalities, three strong emotions. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once now and for all happy. it just keeps going and going and going. It was that oh. I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed 
to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left, and it felt somehow like I had failed. Oops. Where did I screw up? Aww. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? What the it's hell? because of what I did. Yeah, you showed it to other people. You. <laughs> you try to fix him, but... I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> It felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. Hmm. What was that noise? I'm so effects on my personal space, that's impossible. And I did the people who played them, in my work somewhere. they treated me games? like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For hmm. a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Yeah. Called it. Lampposts? Excuse me? Did he add the lampposts? And then you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less oh. than nothing. What does that mean? <laughs> well, it does, but... I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. Don't say anything. That's why I'm releasing this collection <laughs> of your work. Is oh. because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not the best way I to know reach I out, dude. Up. Yeah. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? No. Please. I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because <laughs> I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from in. doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. Mm. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. No. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Wow, okay, there was a lot to take in. Now what? 
Is there a now what? Kinda. Where am I? Train station? With no working clock? More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. A train you cannot get on. I am nauseous as, as hell, but <laughs> I want to finish this. <laughs> hmm. Solution. 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 <laughs> what the hell? I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. <laughs> I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Yeah, never tell anyone else. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Aww. I mean, if you feel like someone's depressed, you don't go around talking to a lot of people about, oh, look, my friend is super Even depressed. Now, Watch his games. Is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. <laughs> They'll hate you. You talk about that person with it. I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation. What would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. Hmm. <laughs> to an extent, I get that. What now? I think I need to go. Yeah, I think you need and to do that. I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm... Yeah, go just... apologize to your friend. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just <laughs> glitching a little bit. I think. Another Murakami moment. Whee! Boom. Oh, we're going back up. Now we're going in here. Is there another? Nope, this is the only way. Okay, sure. I think. And we're back at the train station.
So are we right now still playing one of Coda's games, or is this the uh, Davies game? Or was it always Davies game, and is Coda just some part of his mind? Will this ever get closer? So now we're going to die here, right? Great. <laughs> hmm. Nope. It's just one mouse. Oh. It's an eternal maze. Is it your brain? What a wonderful skybox. So I felt again like doing a bit of reading after finishing the the game because it made me feel a lot of emotions um, and I need other people apparently to tell me what my emotions are all about. So a uh, good old Wikipedia says the game received polarized reviews, which I can get behind. Many reviewers readily took to the narrative and the questions and ideas it raised on game development, while others felt the game forced some of Raiden's thoughts too hard in a pretentious manner. Okay. Mm. Within the game, Raiden states that the beginner's guide is open to interpretation and invites players to share their own theories with him, providing his email address near the start of the game. Oh yeah, that's true. In the beginning, he gave his email address, which which was interesting. And for a little bit, I thought I was just for, you know, part of the story, just for shits and giggles. Mm. Oh yeah, this theory I can get behind. Interactive fiction writer Emily Short believes that neither Reden as narrator nor Coda are to be taken as Reden's own self, but instead two representative characters of the game, of the game player and the game developer, respectively, that Reden's attempt to show sympathy for in a modern game development. Yeah, yeah, I think it's something like that. Oh, the beginner's guys was it was announced. Two days before its official release? Oh, <laughs> that's fun. So no time to hype it up. That's uh, understandable. I think that also suits the, the actual game way better. The game was developed by Readem himself, his co-creator of Stanley Parable, William Pugh? I don't know how to pronounce that. Has been engaged in creating a new studio, Crows, 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 and working on project with R Justin Roiland, the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Ah. But one title being a similar exploration game. Ooh, that looks fun. Okay, I want this. <laughs> Might be the next cool game to play. Um, so yeah, let me know what do you think. Um, it's a very interesting game. It made me feel a lot of emotions. Kind of like a roller coaster. Um, I, however, feel like I need to cuddle my rabbits a little bit, get some more um, oxytocin. I need oxytocin. So I'm going to cuddle my rabbits. Um, and for the next game, I think I'll be playing this one with the very long title. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this game and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.